them off. Going. All right. There's one that only a rogue can get into. Is that it for over here? I wonder. Looks like it. Come on, quit it. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. You don't want to go into the Tower of Ishal. It's off limits for now, I'm afraid. The Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. What is the Tower of Ishal? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Why is the tower off limits exactly? By orders of Tern Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. Lower chambers? I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? This is a pretty large ruin. Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Gotta go. Make a speed your steps. Well, I guess we got everything over here. Nice pretty view. Make her watch over you, my lady. Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Where is Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the Royal Encampment. Most of your fellows are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loghain's closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Where's the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. The Circle of Magi is here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Do I hear dar dogs barking? Well, I can't talk for some reason. This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. 
Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the darkspawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. I want to ask you something else. Go on, then. I'll be on my way. <laughs> Good luck to you, then. <laughs> so retarded. Yay, another codex entry. Hoorah. Alright, let's do some exploring in the Ostagar camp. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Do you know where the king is? I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. Tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? I have my doubts. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. The queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Gotta go. As you wish. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. Tell me about Terran Loghain. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Is the Terran inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. Surely you can tell me a little about him. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Terran speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. <laughs> Personally, I think the King should do what Terran Logan tells him. Without the Terran, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. I would like an audience with the Terran, please. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. How do you know that? His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? A fascination you don't share. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You're no surface dwarf, I can see it in your eyes. Smart are the Grey Wardens to look for new recruits in Orzammar. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I don't know. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. You don't seem very fond of him. He is Marek's son, and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Well, goodbye then, jerk. I hate you already. <laughs> Uh, whatever. I think there's some stuff up here we can loot. 
Look carefully, men. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Whoa, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Whoa, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect Think anything. Think we'll march soon? More stuff to sell. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Good night for it, Warden. Tern Logain's men are up to something in the Tower of Ishal. I wonder what it's all about. Who knows? Who cares? Let's go find some loot. Here's some loot. And I'm off. Studded helmet. Yay, we got a helmet and it's an actual really decent one too. Even though it's just a light helmet, I believe. Yep, but it'll work. Hoorah. The all before me is darkness, yet shall the Maker's light be my guide. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the Fade, for there is no darkness, nor death in the Maker's light. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the Fade, for there is no darkness, no death in the Maker's light. There are lots of darkspawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard of. Our short friend here, for instance, is something called a genlog. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new darkspawn are coming from or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Duncan! You found our tent, I see. Is there something you need? I have some questions. Alistair can help you with those. I had hoped he would be back by now. Fine, whatever. Be that way. May the Maker preserve us all. They say the Darkspawn Horde has grown larger. 